That's right, they let me into the castle. They shouldn't have done that. Attack! Oh, I'm just kidding. You're all gonna die! Can I jump in the fountain? Will they yell at me? Oh. It's a disgrace. Unbelievable. Well, they got put in a room to wait. <laughs> Give me your shit. Great Five. Thundrasil, Heliodor, Galopolis, Sniffleheim, Zwardrust. Thundrasil. Sound like Harry Potter houses or something. Ten points to Thundrasil. Never anything in those cabinets. It's the point of letting me open them. I take that back. I wish it would show the armor and stuff. I don't know why it only does the outfit for one one thing to do. Okay, I get it. Can't go in there. Where am I going? Hi, Graves! This little dude. Indicating. This castle's freaking massive. Fucking massive. Wait, how do I get that? How's your day? Um, my day was. Pretty good. Work was pretty straightforward, which was nice. Tomorrow's golf day, so that's always a uh, positive. How about yours?
as he arrives in front of the king. That will be quite close enough. Welcome to Heliodor Castle, friend. I can't tell if that guy's a dick or... They both look like badasses though, I want that armor. The jewel of Dundrasil. Ready for the beach? That's this weekend, right? You are bold indeed to have made your way here alone, wanderer. I am Carnelian, ruler of Heliodor. You've got a fancy hat, man. How long have I waited for this day? And now, finally, we meet. Truly, it is an it's honor. Subscribe. <laughs> the fact that you come here proffering the jewel and oh asking God, to speak it. with me personally would suggest that you know something of your true nature. Thank you for the 58 I months. That you also bear the mark. They're going to kill him or lock him up. Yes, the mark of light. Then there is no doubt you are he. Rejoice, dear subjects. The day is upon us at last. The luminary walks among us once more. Why do I feel this is going to turn badly? <laughs> Code, thank you for the Tell continued me, support. Oh, luminary. Where exactly is it that you hail from? I would so very much like to pay tribute to those who took you in and raised you. Uh oh. I see. Cobblestone, you say. Jasper, you know of this place? I do, my liege. A village of provincial nobodies deep in the rocky south. I don't like this guy's attitude. We should just kill Jasper. Then I take it you know what to do. Do not disappoint me. Uh-oh. Yes, my liege. Cursed luminary. I know not what your intent was in coming here alone, but whatever your wicked scheme, know that it shall not succeed. <sighs> Hendrik, take this cur, this harbinger of calamity, and cast him into the furthest corner of the dungeon. Know this, the luminary is the root of all evil and will bring naught but misery to our realm. And why is this? Fuck you, eyebrows. The reason is simple. Just as light is intertwined with darkness, so too is the luminary intertwined with the dread lord of shadows. His coming heralds the resurrection of the Dark One. Did you really think you could fool one as wise as his majesty? It was your great misfortune to confront one who knows your true nature. Men, seize this wretch! <clears throat> oh, I'm coming for you, motherfucker. Code, what you up to? Uh. Loyal, what's up? You claim to hail from Cobblestone. Well, before the sun has set three times, we shall know the truth. 
By then, just mm, all these characters were designed by Akira Toriyama, Codester, the guy who created if Dragon I Ball. So, Dark Spawn, I would not expect to live beyond that day. Hmm. Oh, sweet jail friends. We're gonna make. Fuck these pots. I guess I can turn my cam back on. Cutscene's over. Will you keep it down in there? Most folks they throw in here have the decency to wait a while before going stir crazy. I did that for a while, loyal, but now's the perfect time to start it because we got some time before uh, any big game anyhow? releases. You don't get free oh, bed and board down here play. without having done something pretty bad. Back to cutscene. Wait, did you say the luminary? You're serious? <sighs> You're telling me the luminary has just shown up in the cell next to mine. This is crazy. Why would they Why lock me up? Why wouldn't they just kill me? Gruel for a gentleman in the dungeon suite. Come and get it. In and out of Neo. I still need to play Neo too. First one was great. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what that is. The luminary. You're serious? So it's all happening just like the seer said it would. We'd better get out of here. I like, the, I like the voice actor for that character. Huh? Wait here. <clears throat> you? But, oh! Incredible. Incredible voice acting. Don't worry, I didn't kill him. But he won't be waking you, up anytime soon. But, uh, See, pretty I could have had that head. part. You'd better take this. I could have been that character. Queef takes the sword. Oh, and I found this in a corner over there. I guess it's your stuff, right? They just left it in a corner for me? Thanks. Me? I got this little beauty back. So now I'm pretty much unstoppable. We better get out of here before any more of our tin-headed friends come knocking. Holla when you're ready to move out, okay? Holla, 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 holla. Want to see who voiced this? I recognize anyone. Let's see who the stalls are. Rasmus Hardiker? Yeah, it's already. Oh, I guess I don't want to look at this because I don't want to spoil anything. That's alright, we'll look at it later. Door is locked. Give me the key. Well, I want those treasures. Ah, 
I spend ages digging this hole, and you just happen to show up the day I finish it? Heck of a coincidence. Guess I really was meant to help you out, just like the seer said. Anyway, there'll be time to talk about all that later. In you go. Seer. I want to go back for those treasures. Frick. The sewers, huh? Well, there must be a way out somewhere. Lead the way. I got your back. <laughs> He's digging a hole, but then expects me to know where we're going. Can I, like, switch characters or anything? Um... Okay, I don't see anything for, like, a... Uh... Hot swap characters. Okay. Well, I guess we'll have to come back through here at some point. Oh, shit. We gotta destroy everything on the way out. That's how it works. There they are! You lot, over here! Huh? Damn it! We better make ourselves scarce. Is it a chase? Oh. Fine, we'll go this way. Follow my lead. Huh. That was weird. God, the music is phenomenal. And I love the integration of the old school sound effects. Oh, get fucked. something this is where we jump in the sewer water these guys don't give up do they We just get hit in the head by one of those blocks. Game over. Uh, you okay? 
Looks like we shook the guards, at least. And that looks like a way out. Maybe our luck's about to change. Statue, but no bonfire. Can't go into the water. Okay. Wish I had an organ, though. What happens? Okay, let's just see what this looks like. Close your eyes and pray. Oh, wait, you can't just switch back and forth? Ah, uh, bummer. Okay, well, we'll just... Have to do a 2D playthrough at some point or something. It's a motherfucking dragon! Oh no. Man, wait. There's something there. So good. It's weird how it's cartoony, but yet the graphics still look so good. Like the game looks good. Fight, we're dead. Let's get the heck out of here. Oh, I want to kill the Dargan, though. Let's get out of here. Oh, this is kind of cool. I dig the, the chasing vibes. Fuck out! You can't be serious. So wait, you can fight the dragon? Come on, quickly! I wonder how fast it would destroy us. Metal slimes.
say if there's a gold slime, we're fighting it. Has it gone? Whew. That was way too close for comfort. What's that thing doing under the castle anyway? Well, whatever. We should get going. We made it. Just. I don't know how much more of this I can take. Huh? There he is. The dark spawn. Dude, you know that you got a uh, dragon. Big mouth. Mm -hmm. Move now. No worries about the dragon, huh? Oh, looks like our luck finally ran out. There they are. We've got them now. Hmm. No way back, huh? If they catch us, we're dead meat. Hold! Let's do this. I believe in you. I believe in the Luminary. I don't have much choice. I believe in you too. Come on! Let's not do anything stupid now. The name's Eric, by the way. <laughs> He's powering up. That was all just the intro. This game's gonna be dope as shit. Uh, 
That looks so cool. That's awesome. What a what a hype as fuck intro. Wake up, lazy bones. I'm fired up. Come on, up you get. Finally. I was worried we'd lost you for a minute there. You've been out cold ever since we jumped. Had to drag you all the way here on my own. But what a jump it was. I closed my eyes, put my faith in the luminary, and somehow didn't get smashed into a thousand pieces. In fact, I woke up on the forest floor at the bottom of the cliff without a scratch on me. Amazing what a little faith can do. Sweet hair. Anyway, I guess you and me must be at the top of the King of Heliodor's most wanted list by now. Which means we can't hang around here too long. Let's go say thanks to the nun who looked after us and be on our way. Children, I trust that your friend here is fully recovered. Yeet. Oh, don't worry about him. He's just fine. Hey, thanks for looking out for us. We owe you one. Not at all, dear. I'm just happy to see you both well again. But if you are leaving, you must be careful on the road. It seems some dangerous criminals have escaped from the capital and are at large somewhere in the area. Oh, I shudder to think what wicked deeds they might be capable of. Criminals, you say? Dear me, that doesn't sound good. And you heard this when you were in Heliodor. I did indeed, my child. There were guards everywhere. They are searching high and low for the villains. And I heard that the mighty knight Sir Hendrik himself has headed to the mountains in the south with his troops. They say he means to block the road to Cobblestone, the village the fugitives came from. <laughs> oh. But you must forgive me, poor lambs. I did not mean to alarm you. They will soon be caught, I am sure. Justice will be done. And until then, you are free to remain with us for as long as you please. Thanks. We appreciate that. Um... We're going to get a little fresh air. We have a few things to discuss, right? Yeah. We're actually just gonna go smoke some crack. Don't worry about it. Cobblestone, eh? Never heard of the place. I never even knew anyone actually lived in those mountains down south. Is that really where you're from? I'm guessing you want to go see what's happening down there. But you need to be smart. You won't get past Hendrik unnoticed. If you're going to make it there without getting caught, you'll need to avoid the main road. 
Okay. And if you want to do that, you'll need my help. I know every back road there is to know in these parts. But I've got things to take care of in Heliodor first. I left a little something in one of my old haunts downtown, and I need to get it back. So, are you coming along for the ride? I did help you break out of that dungeon, remember? That's the spirit. But we can't have you bringing us any unwanted attention. Ah, I've got just a thing. It's funny that they're going to block the road. Here, I thought they were going to just put murder this on everybody. And keep your face hidden. Otherwise, you... You know what to do. Definitely took that for murdering <laughs> everyone. That's more like it. If you're going to be a wanted man, you might as well look the part. Right. Let's head north and hit town. Glad you're coming along. The seer told me to stick with the luminary when I found him, and that's just what I'm going to do. Pet powers, huh? I wonder if we can... Nice. He's got a soldier sword and a burnt boomerang. What the fuck are we going to do with Kitty Letter? Fishnet stockings. Okay. Oh, dang, it's thirty five. Hmm. Okay. And away we go. Bodkins?
Got him. Another one bites 20 experience. I didn't even realize I was controlling. I didn't realize I was controlling Eric. Platypunks, nice. Huh. Easy. What a name. Another one bites the dust. Easy. Let's go. Oh, you can speed it up. Interesting. I kind of like that I increase the battle speed. What? Buzzberries and a feather, huh? Interesting. I didn't like that at all. Ah. Oh, we got an award, huh? I'll save him. Found a butterfly wing, huh? This music's so good. Welcome to downtown Heliodor, home to rogues, ruffians, and all my other favorite kinds of people. About a year ago, me and Dirk, my partner in crime, 
managed to uh, acquire one of the royal family's most precious possessions, the Red Orb. A home in the Hamptons. Pulled me in eventually, but not before we'd stashed it somewhere safe so we could pick it up later. Right down there is the biggest, stinkingest garbage pile in all of Heliodor. Me and Dirk buried the orb slap bang in the middle of it. After all, no one would ever think of looking for it there. Where criminal genius is, I tell you. Time to go liberate that loot to the garbage pile. To the garbage pile. Oh, nice. I guess we can save it. I guess we should keep, uh, keep our eyes out for stuff to climb on, huh? Please tell me he can do a world. Fuck! I just bought that for nothing. Rip the cash. treasure over there. Oh. Just walk the tightrope. Idiot. Seed of agility. So this. What else would one hired? <laughs> right? In the dump! Gotta go to the dumpy. Hello, by the way, Colowin.
Saw camo. Okay. Platforming. Platforming in an RPG? What? Do, 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 do. Oh, wait, there's a treasure there. Oh, I'll come back for it. Oh, God. <clears throat> We're, uh, you know. We won't talk about that. We'll just, uh... Now it's a speed run. that terrible at this? Alright. We got it this time. We couldn't possibly fail a third time on something that probably shouldn't fail. <laughs> okay, to the wall, over. There we go. There we go. I wish the camera turned faster. Is there a way? I wonder if there's a way to adjust that. Hold on. Hold up. Uh, camera controls. Camera movement. Hey, let's kick it up to like six. One more. Bam, bam. Yeah, it feels better. Do you want something? That's how I hear that. Are you kidding me? I came all the way over here and I can't even... Rage! Ooh. Oh well, at least we get the treasure. Okay, so talking to that kid didn't really do anything. You don't serve alcohol to minors, which is fine. This is the spot. <laughs> it's been in the street the whole time. Now, it was around here somewhere. Quick, grab the street drool. It's definitely here. Uh, it's not here. You gotta be kidding me. Me and Dirk. Wait a minute. 
He must have done the dirty on me and taken it for himself. <laughs> Why does he sound like a mobster? Damn it! I should have known. A thieving little. Wait till I get my hands on it. I'm gonna find him, and you're gonna help me. Okay. The inn we used to crash at is just over there. Come on, it's the only one with an upstairs. You can't miss it. <laughs> acquired, yeah, isn't that what he said? I, uh, acquired it. <laughs> you told me about fruit juice. Okay. Armor. What do we got? Boxer shorts. Old underclothes that smell faintly of sweat and regret. Oh no. Oh no. Somehow better than my current armor. Sad. Oh, I've got two of these. Saw one. Oh, we could probably sell these, right? Yeah. Yo, that's some cash. Now we can upgrade. Gotcha. 180 coins. You got it. We're all leathered out now. Look out. All right, let's sell off this old garbage. of them I should you never go straight to the destination you always gotta look around but you never know might be some secret shit wait there's a ladder in there Oh, come on. Whee. Fine, fine, fine. Whoa, what door is this? There's a treasure in there. Let me in. Let me in. Immersion. <laughs> this old place hasn't changed a bit. Back in our thieving days, Dirk and me used to lay low here whenever things got hairy. Ruby? Ruby, you there? It's me, Eric. There's something I need to ask you.
Ruby runs the place. Looks like she's not around, but if anyone knows where Dirk is, it's her. Which means we'll have to go find her. So here's the plan. There's a tower they use to look out for fires. You're going to climb up there and keep an eye out for Ruby. I'll check a couple of other spots. Don't worry, you can't miss her. She's the only redhead in town. Climb the tower. Got it. Now we're ready. Now we're going to do some tower climbing. Mm -hmm. Was that the same lady that helped us? What a jerk. Can't be mean like that to old ladies. Those noises. She goes. Yeah, uh, can't find. You saw her heading back to the inn. Great. Let's head over there and find out what she knows. It was her the whole time. Isn't my favorite landlady. Hmm. Welcome to our rumble. <gasps> Strike a light! If it ain't me favorite little tea leaf! Last I heard, they locked you up and thrown away the key. Hang about. It'd be so fun to do voice acting for a video game. game. You always did like to sail close to the wind. Don't worry, I won't be here long. I just need to know where Dirk is. Have you seen him? Dirk, eh? Now there's a name I ain't heard in a while. Didn't he open some fancy shop up by the castle? Yeah, that was it. Raking in the cash is, or so they say. That can't be right. The rent up there is crazy. Where will he find the money? You know where he found that money. Wait a second. He sold it, didn't he? The rat sold the damned orb. Look, in this part of town, you don't go asking too many questions. You know that. If you want more, you'll have to get it from the horse's mouth. The horse's mouth. You're right. Thanks, Ruby. I appreciate it. We'll get out of your hair. That no good traitor? I'll bet he sold me out and sold the ore. And all so he could move up in the world. Well, I'll get what I'm owed. You'll see. All right, dude. need to get past that sentry if we're going to head uptown and find him. Wait, isn't he... Just push the fire over on him. Yeah. What? I remember hearing that one of the guards is terrified of dogs. I think it was him. Maybe we can 
borrow one of somebody. Or, what if you just pretend you're a dog? Who's got a dog? Looking for a dog, please. Anyone here have a doge? Smash. Smash. kind of look like Shrek from a distance with the green head. Wait, I wonder if there's anything upstairs. Here. Oh, this is a cute place. Chunk of Flintstone. Yeah, but that would do. Here's the dog. Let me take your dog. You're having a giraffe. What? Buzzberry. I think I got one of those. Bargain. A little troll. Who will carry it? Item bag will carry it. Thank you. Man, I'm glad we grabbed those berries. So we don't have to run out of town and grab them. Oh, that's cute. She just wants to play with her dog outside. Come on, Bullseye. Halt! This gate leads to the nice part of town. My job is to protect oh, this guy's a dick. people from being bothered by rabble and riffraff. A riffraff. You. Get him, Cujo. Ah! No, no, not a, d a d dog. Anything but that. Ah! <laughs> Worked like a charm. Bite his dick off. Who said that? I love that little sound effect. I love the throwback sound effects are everything, man. So good. Oh, right. 
I know where we are. Okay. Sorry, Gramps. Big mansion by the castle. Alright, we're coming for you, Dirk. You son of a bitch. You're going down. Just wait till I call across these roofs and ropes and other obstacles. This must be the shot. That's why we couldn't go in there the first time. place you got here uh-oh welcome welcome feel free to browse you'll find we only stock the very finest wings <gasps> that's good because i'm looking for something very special indeed happen to have any orbs in stock what if he just shanked them right here uh, eric Long time no see, old pal. Eric! My, my brother! My compadre! My, my partner in crime! It's all! Oh, it's really you! Large as life and a oh, fighting fit! I'm so oh, happy to see you! You have no shame, huh? Get your backstabbing hands off of me! <sighs> you always were full of it, Dirk. But this really takes the cake. Admit it. You sold me out and sold the orb so you could buy this place, didn't you? I never! I promise you, I never sold you out. I was worried sick about you. I only opened this place to try and help you. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. And how does that work, exactly? How does you opening this place and lining your pockets while I rot in jail help me? Look, I was never much of a thief. You know that. But it turns out I know how to sell stuff. I got a gift, even if I do say so myself. <sighs> when you got nabbed, I spent months racking my brains for ways of busting you out. I couldn't stand the thought of you being in there. In the end, I realized I'd have to give up the orb. I took it to the king, told him I found it somewhere, and pocketed the reward. Then I used the cash to open up the shop here, and poured all my profits into bribing the guards up at the castle so they'd let you escape. Hmm. Now that you mention it, I did think it was weird they never tossed my cell the whole time I was digging that hole. Hmm. Exactly. I was paying them to turn a blind eye, weren't I? Stab him. Don't believe him. <laughs> <sighs> okay, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I doubted you, partner. That's the spirit. Now give me Here everything you own. Compensation. So good to have you back. But I need that orb. And now we don't even know where it is. <laughs> oh, yes, we do. 
Right this way, gentlemen. Sold a fake. Break it. That's got to be a secret door or something, right? Here. Revenge. What are these mini medals for? Can I look it up in my items? Hmm. Tolowin, do you... I imagine you know what the mini medals are for, right? Do I find out? Or is it some secret? So, where is it? After I handed over the all, I made sure to keep my ears to the ground about where it ended up. I knew it was important to you, see? Well, a little bird tells me that Endrick and his men took it to the King's Barrow, and it's been under lock and key there ever since. Endrick? Like Erdrick? King's Barrow? Like from the earlier hmm? Dragon Quest games? That's southeast of town. Same direction as Okay, cool. Stuff. Which means we can kill two birds with one stone. You coming, Dirk? A little adventure for old time's sake? Sorry, no can do. I got a shop to run and I'm a married man these days. How long was he in jail for? Holy shit. Married? Wow, you really have changed. Well, you always said you wanted to settle down and maybe go into business someday. I'm happy for you. We'd better get going. Take care, Dirk. And thanks for everything. You too, old pal. Be lucky, eh? And don't you two go doing anything I wouldn't do. <laughs> Ruh -roh. The south gate is crawling with guards. We won't be walking out that way. And Hendrick's men are too uptight to take bribes. Guess we'll have to go the long way round. If we skirt wow. around the hills to the south, we should be able to approach the King's Barrow from Yeah, thanks side. for the follow. We can drop into Cobblestone on the way. Okay, let's head back downtown. Watch yourselves out there, eh? They don't call that forest round there the Mangle Grove for nothing. Mangle Grove. There's plenty going there and never come out. <laughs> It'll take more than a few kids' stories to scare us off. Besides, it's the only way to get there. Hmm. Okay, so where's our... Oh, we gotta go back to it. Okay. Whee! There we go. Is this open yet, or is that old lady still guarding that shit? I guess we'll find out. Hey, she's gone.
That's weird. We've got a scale. I'm really enjoying this game. I grew up with the early, you know, Dragon Warrior, Dragon Quest games. So I was interested in checking this out, but... I'm liking this a lot more than I thought I would. Oh, we just found a pair of boxer shorts. Nice. Is there anything on those rooftops? here just to get that oh yeah for sure I've played and beaten the first three? The first two for sure. I'm almost positive I beat the third one. Um, but as a kid, I knew them as uh, Dragon Warrior. So I didn't know that, like, Dragon Quest was the same thing. And I just never played the games, like, going forward. So I missed out on a lot of fucking games. <laughs> did I get a haircut? I did not. I'm just not wearing a hat for once. Look at all those lights. They're pretty keen to find us, huh? We better steer clear of Heliodor until the heat dies down. All right, through the Mangle Grove and onto Cobblestone. Let's do this. Looks shorter for some reason. Nah. Yo, who's this? Looks like a Mega Man character. Shut. Oh, there's Bruce. Takes two to tango. I wonder if the lady's home. Ooh, we can jump in the well. Yeah, it was a card game. Uh, or a board game, one of the two. I do remember that.
I mean, I didn't know that at the time. I know that now, but... Let's go in the well. See what's up. Ooh. It's a trap. I'm just kidding. Pointy hat. Well, this one's got another area. Hardy hide. Hardy, hardy, hardy hide. Oh, that moonwalk was dope. Um, Angle Grove, we turn left. I wonder if we can get this uh, duo thing. Get the pep power. Power pep. Limit break. These things are kind of strong. Another one bites the duck. Nice. Oh, Bruce was celebrating too. Swords, knives, and boomerangs. Oh, it's a pet power. I kind of want that. All right, we'll up our attack power. We'll do that first. This music slaps. Watch him back to the future. Hell yeah. Fantastic movie. Great film indeed. I just love like the preemptive bitch slap to the back of the head. that the Final Fantasy series would have went this direction instead of going for like the oh shit uh... wait how do I get my friend all powered up too Toriyama Dragon Ball power up right there. Oh, dang. That black flame was cool.
nice. Side quest achieved. Oh, it does feel amazing. Nice. I feel like they're kind of like uh, techs from Chrono Trigger. Triple tech. HP and defense. Well. There you go. Medicinal herb. Oh. oh, these are new enemies. Let me fight this Pinocchio tree. It almost looks like the uh, the enemy from uh, Kirby, Kirby's Dream Land, like the giant tree you fight that shoots like the apples out of its nose or whatever. Another one bites the dust. Hopefully, somebody knows what I'm talking about. Oh, look at the little tigers. Bam! What are they called? Scare cubs? Or saber cub? Okay. Frolics. Oh, that's so cute. Too bad I gotta kill it. You have Kirby's Dream Land 2 for Game Boy? Noise. Hmm. Let's go. Let's see. Dragon Slash. Dragon Slash! Hmm. Disappointing. I have an original Game Boy. I don't think it works. But I keep it just for decoration. Another one bites the dust. Jungle area? Wait, did we grab that item? Oh, yeah, yeah, we did. Salesman, what do you got? You have nothing new. Oh, that's cool. It tells you where you found it. If you ever need to go get it. Oh, he should wear the pointy hat. 
Ah. I still have not yet put shelves up. I've been meaning to forever. Oh, regular boomerang. Do I have to have specific uh, weapons here for this guy to dual wield? Like, because I have the dagger and a knife. And he was dual wielding in the trailer. feeling that's gonna be something later or maybe not who knows Some. Dancing devil. Have you ever danced with the devil in the pale moonlight? Let's fight this cloud. Fuck you, cloud. Oh, that wasn't great. Experience though. That's a weird looking worm. What's a mushroom? It does a salty dance. That's hilarious. Nice. Another one bites the dust. Uh, maybe I should heal real quick. There we go. Fuck you. achievements. I wonder if they're lips. They're just called lips, really? Uh-oh. Paralyzed. <laughs> well, it's so goofy. Is there a way I can...
Oh, I gotta remember those healing options, too. Easy. Let's do this. <laughs> Backhanded. First cobblestone. Set it right for us. What the shit? Ah, let's see. There's gonna be more than a plan up here. Ooh, another mini metal. Nice work, chat. We're doing it. Fuck you. The lips is defeated. Another one bites the dust. Wait, what's over here? Cow that tells you the weather. Okay. It's empty. That sucks. What about me? Holy moly, look at those things. It's a little scary down there. Look at that. A campsite. And just when we needed one. It's still a fair way to cobblestone. Let's rest up for the night. Gotcha. I still can't get over old Dirk. He didn't just go straight, married, shop in the best part of town. He went straighter than straight. Just like that. We used to be thick as thieves. <laughs> Literally. We travel the world, always on the hunt for loot. Ah, those were the days. Oh, speaking of which, I just thought of something we acquired back then that might come in handy. Why? <laughs> yep, I've decided. I'm giving it to you. You'll love it. We sure did when we got our hands on it. It's cocaine! 
Behold, the fun size forge. Pop a few raw materials on top, bash them with the porter pounder, and bops your uncle. New equipment. <laughs> what? But I'm not just talking steel what region swords is and the like. Wooden boomerangs, a natty new jerkin, you name it, this thing can make it. This thing will make a jerkin? Sweating over a hot forge was never exactly my style. But I have a feeling you'll get more use out of it than I ever did. You can't just go smashing stuff together willy-nilly, though. You'll need the recipe for the piece of equipment you want to make. Here's a little something to get you started. You should strike while the iron's hot. <laughs> like I just had this the whole time. It's like, oh, you know what? Here. Ooh. There are recipes hidden all over the place. It, treasure chests and bookshelves are always a good bet. Keep an eye. Hopefully I didn't miss any. You're gonna start dinner? All right. Okay. You can use the fun size forge to craft all kinds of equipment based on recipes that make use of the raw materials you collect in your adventures. New recipes can be found in treasure chests and on bookshelves, and you'll be able to acquire the ingredients you need by defeating monsters or investigating sparkly spots. Go ahead and try to make your first masterpiece with the recipe Eric just gave you. Smithing items couldn't be simpler. Select Bash to start beating your ingredients into shape and finish when you're ready to wrap things up. Hammer away to each visible area with your Porta Pounder to fill up the blue gauge next to it. And aim to get every gauge into the green zone. Oh, that sucks. I thought I could... Mm. Okay. Whatever, well, first one. We'll... we'll get better. Two Perfectionist Pearls? So you Perfectionist Pearls each time you see so you forge a piece of equipment, you can use these to attempt to rework the item. They were doing a better job, don't worry about reading how it works. Alright, you feel through something. You won't lose it, and if you succeed, you come up with something special. Let's try and rework it. We don't have enough. Uh, fine. Oh, I only have the two. Okay. Let's try this again.
Boom. Yeah. That one slipped away on me. It moved a lot quicker than I could react to it. That's cool. I like that you can forge weapons and work them and stuff. I like crafting. Dagger plus two. Oh, shit. Let's go. Redo. See, like, I pressed it way earlier. Hmm. Still better than the other one, but... Okay, well, that's enough for now. I like the way that they teach you, like, mechanics and stuff in this game, too. for the other hand, huh? Let's definitely get a save in. Mm -hmm. Oh, shoot. If I ever find out who did this, I swear I'll... Ta-da! You called? Tricky devil at your service! <laughs> ah, I went to a lot of trouble to smash up this stupid bridge! It looks I'm like one of the Saiyaman from Dragon Ball. Here, get a load of my devilishly tricky shapeshift beam! <laughs> You're a silly old woodcutter. The next minute, you're a smelly old dog. I'm a devilish genius. <laughs> now, what mischief shall I get up to next? Oh, so much trouble to cause so little time. 
I already want to just kick him off the ledge. just happened you touched that plant and then I saw all this crazy stuff you really expect me to believe that this mutt here is actually the woodcutter huh there's never a dull moment with you around I'm glad her every day I broke you out of jail well all I know for sure is that we're never going to get out of this forest until we get that bridge fixed. And if what we just saw was true, Rover here is the only one who can fix it. Why don't we find that chest and have a word with our mischievous friend? Let's head back the way we came and see if we missed it somewhere. I remember it. I was very disappointed. Was that the trick? This way. The only thing I'm shocked by is how lame you are. Got him. What did you just do, oh, cheeky devil? Don't you know who I am? I'll teach you for my next trick. I'm gonna beat you to a pulp! <laughs> Let's go. Snap. Let's go. Finish him. Here we go. Nice. Hundred and two experience. Got a and a new spell learned. Let's go. Tricky. 
Give me more pep, please. Targets all enemies, makes them disappear. It's intense. We're one point off. Damn it. This can't be happening. Looks like the joke's on me this time. Uh. Hey there, you two. We killed him. Nice. The answer to all our problems is murder. Not anymore. Thanks to you, I'm back to my old self. I'm Flint the Woodcutter, by the way. And I owe you more than words can possibly say. How can I ever repay you? Money. Lots of money. It's funny you should ask. We were hoping that some kind soul might fix that bridge the monster smashed up. Oh yeah, I guess that works too. It would be my pleasure. Why don't you go back to my cabin and put your feet up? I'll have it mended for you in no time flat. <laughs> I was hoping you'd say that. Much obliged. Much obliged. Yes. Indubitably. Sorry to have kept you waiting, but I'm happy to announce that the bridge is fixed. In fact, it's even sturdier than ever. It's made of titanium nanofiber. You don't hang about, huh? Thanks. You've really helped us out. Now, young fellow, about this vision of me being turned into a dog you saw when you touched that glowing plant. The more I think about it, the more certain I am. What you experienced can only have been the guidance of Yggdrasil. The World Tree. Uh, does that mean anything to you? It's something my dear old granddad told me about when I was a boy. Yggdrasil is the giant floating tree at the center of our world, of course. The source of all life, as some call it. If the legends are to be believed, each one of its leaves represents a life, and its power preserves the peace and harmony of our realm. Mmm, foreshadowing. Tasty. The glowing plant you found in the forest is actually a part of Yggdrasil, a piece of root poking through from beneath. It's said that the World Tree can choose to communicate via her roots, but only with certain very special people. And that's what my granddad meant by the guidance of Yggdrasil. He was talking about just such visions as you saw. <laughs> it's all coming back to me now. As a boy, I'd spend hours talking to the silly old thing, but did anything ever happen? Not a bit of it. But you, young man, you're different. You're one of the special ones, chosen by the world tree. And you've got great hair, too. <laughs> Just <laughs> Nice. <laughs> so not only are you the luminary, you're also Yggdrasil's favorite little leaf, huh? Some guys have all the luck, I guess. Well, we can't stand around talking about how great you are forever. Come on. Yeah. I knew it. Recipe book entitled Economies of Scale. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, please. Oh, 
Oh, we even gain levels for the focus? Interesting. Scale shield looks cool. Oh, I almost missed that one. Okay, I pressed that when it was at the very beginning. Like, oh, that's... Hmm. Oh, we got gold on a mother. Oh no, I don't have enough scales to make a second armor. I pressed that before it even reached the green spot. That's kind of... Again. Ah, I don't like that. See, uh, why? <sighs> Have you ever had issues with that where it like doesn't? Stop when you press the button. Trooper, thank you for the raid. Until dawn. Pumpkin, hello. Overwatch. Nice. Um, let's save it here. How was your stream? Also, I'll be honest with you. I don't have much longer in my stream here. Just because I got to be up at uh, 5 a.m. here for work. Hurt your neck. Oh. That's the worst. Getting older now, I swear. I'm just like, I sleep wrong. And immediately I'm just like, uh. 
Oh, we can buy a scale. Yeah, let's do that. What does the fresh water do? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Welcome anytime. <laughs> you slept wrong. Yeah. I will say, uh, having acquired a new bed uh, a little bit ago definitely helped. Oh, I key can't equip it. Never mind. Well, whatever. We got an extra skill. I think that was a big problem. Sleeping on like a uh, real old be bed. Oh, we gotta go the other way, I think. I think? No? Hold up. New bed just slept. Ah, okay. Kyle was right about the rain. Oh wait, he didn't fix this one? Oh, maybe I did turn myself around. Yeah, I think it'll go this way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here we go. Oh, what's this thing? Let's fight it. Yeah. Sham hat witches. Almost sounds like ham sandwiches. Gonna go make some food and lay down. Follow the rest of the stream. Yo, thank you, Trooper. Thank you again for the raid. Enjoy your food. Hopefully your neck feels better. I'm gonna have to get something to eat here shortly myself. Uh, what are we looking at? What is going on? I see all sorts of... Clamoring around. This is always so loud for no real good reason. What is what is happening? Where does this take me? Let's 
Oh, dang. Okay, so when the hat's not down there, pretty easy. Pretty easy to give a clobber into. Run around in a little loop. Okay, that's right. Oh, dang, this is a big fight. Well, I guess they're kind of weak, though. Kind of weak. Oh, I forgot about the horse. Do we still get to use the horse? <laughs> oh, and still looks to be safe. Recognize me? I used to live here. What the... Oh, wait. Mysterious glow blocks the way. Um, I'm trying to remember where my house was again. Ah, yes. Is that you, dear? I'm cooking your. You'll be desperate to stuff your face as always, I'm sure. Well, set the table, and I'll just give it a last little stir. Whoa! Who are you? And what are you doing in my house? What nonsense are you talking? My boy is six years old. What? Who do you think you are, waltzing in here and claiming to be someone you're not? Whoever you are, I want you out of my house this instant! Don't make me say it twice! Can you everybody forget about me? Wait, did everybody go back in time? What the fuck?
Oh, I'm sure it will. I'm just going through in my head like... chest that was back here appears to be gone. Hey, Grandad, can I borrow your ladder? The wind blew Gemma's scarf off, and now it's stuck up a tree. What? <laughs> well, we can't be having that now, can we? Let me go and find it for you. Hmm? We don't need the ladder anymore. That nice man over there got my headscarf down for me. He said he was looking for you. Is he a friend of yours? Nope. I've never even seen him before. I think it might be me he's looking for, you know. Why don't you two run along and play and leave us grown-ups to talk? All right. <laughs> what the heck? Well, well, well. It's you, isn't it? <laughs> I knew it. I'd known you since you were a baby, after all. I knew it was you right away. 
But you don't look too happy, my lad. Care to tell your old granddad what's on your mind? I see. So, you're from a future where I'm no longer around. Well, well. And King Carnelian went and threw you in the dungeon. And to think I trusted that he'd do right by you. If I'd known how things were going to turn out, I would have told you everything. Instead of hiding the truth from you for all those years. But you don't have time to be listening to an old man's regrets. Here's what we're going to do. If you head east out of the village, you'll come to Cobblestone Falls, as you know. Go there and dig in front of the three-sided rock. Got that? Hmm? The three-sided rock at Cobblestone Falls. You'll know the one I mean. But what a fine figure of a man you've become. I'm so glad I got to see you all grown up. You'll be good now, lad. Don't waste your time bearing grudges. Live life with love in your heart. You always saw me, right? Bye now. What? Interesting. Thanks for getting Gemma's headscarf back for her. Come back and play any time you like. <laughs> it's ages till I gotta go home. What should we play now? Well, we could play, um... Are you okay? I lost you for a minute there. Not surprising, I guess. <gasps> oh no. I can't believe they do this. And just because you grew up here? What kind of animals are they? Jasper and his goons must have ridden straight here after you got thrown in the dungeons and torched the place. Hey, just now, when you zoned out, the mark on your hand was glowing, and so was the root wrapped around that tree. Was it another one of those visions? Wow. So you... 
You went back in time and spoke with your granddad and... And yourself? That is seriously weird. Must have been the root here. It must have the power to show you the past. Well, if what your granddad told you was right, then we need to head over to Cobblestone Falls. Where did you say it was? East of the village? Wait, are we not going to acknowledge that, like, everybody's... Is everybody okay? Are they dead? Like, what? <laughs> Listen, I know this can't be easy, but hanging around here isn't going to do anybody any good. Come on. It's so sad. 